and welcome to another episode of the Green Dream video series. I'm ESG Clarity Deputy Editor Natasha Turner and today I'm going to be speaking with Sarah Rosner, Director of Environmental Research and Engagement at Alliance Bernstein. I think the profile of climate change and what that can mean for investors has been raised tremendously since COP26, both within our organizations and among our most important stakeholders, clients, certainly regulators, corporates that we invest in every day, and of course the countries that we invest in as well. So we're really focused right now on bringing the two organizations together on collaborative research. Mm -hmm. So building out those touch points between our investors and the premier climate scientists that are in residence at the Columbia Climate School. We have a number of different interactions underway at the moment, focused on a wide variety of topics from synthetic biology and what that can mean to some of the most pressing environmental issues of our time to things like natural hazards. Um, so how do we map those across large regions, but also bring that data into a format that's granular enough for our investors to use in their decision-making. Carbon offsetting happens to be one of the three strategic environmental priorities for Alliance Bernstein over the next 18 to 24 months, uh, next to biodiversity as well as net zero. And the way we think about all of these issues is really starting with education and training first. So bringing all of our investment teams up to speed on what something like carbon offsets and credits can mean for their decision-making process, how to think about it uh, through the issuer context. And we're working on developing that training right now with some of our colleagues at Columbia University. Um, like everything that we do, we, we endeavor to kind of bring this through a full spectrum. So developing our investment team's knowledge capital on this, helping them produce thought leadership and guidance and frameworks, and then how do we bring that to our clients on the other end? So that's that's something we're kind of, we're in that first phase right now and something we're looking to further develop as we go along. I am a New Yorker. I'm very proud of our New York City tap here, and it is sustainable. We're very lucky to be in a region where we have uh, very good rainfall and we're in a very large reservoir. So the Hudson Valley watershed.